know, back in my day, we didn't have all this fancy, fancy technology all the kids have. We only had rocks. You see, God didn't like the nothingness. So he decided, on the first day, to create rocks. And he saw that rocks were very good. So on the second day, he decided to make more rocks. This made God very happy, and he spent the entirety of the third, fourth, fifth days all the time tossing rocks. On the sixth day, he grew bored of his tossing rocks, so he created man, and he ordered man to throw rocks at one another for his amusement. Man complied very easily, as we saw the enjoyment of throwing rocks at one another. Now, after 20 years of faithfully throwing rocks, these rocks began to grow down into gravel. We had thrown so many rocks, that rocks were almost scarce. It took us a full year to realize that throwing gravel could hit multiple targets, but it wasn't as effective as throwing rocks at each other. So we decided to throw both at each other. Eventually, we threw so much gravel, because the rocks had become scarce, that it began to go down into dirt, covering almost all the other rocks that were on the surface. We began to rely solely on gravel to throw at each other. We figured they were just as good as rocks, just smaller. Eventually, though, there was so much dirt that we could hardly find gravel or rocks. That is when the rocks that had underneath the dirt sprung up as small trees, about two feet tall. Because of the scarcity of rock, the world leaders held a conference. From there, the Greek pharaoh, Abraham Lincoln, suggested that we all throw the small trees at one another. The world leaders unanimously agreed, but we could see that they were much easier to find 